The Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center has a team of medical professionals that work in what they call the cold zone, which is a unit dedicated to treating COVID-19 patients. The cold zone currently has 18 beds and is an entire negative pressure unit, which according to officials is the first of its kind in the Charleston area. A group of nurses and doctors volunteered to directly treat patients who are experiencing some symptoms of the virus. Trevor Pham is one of these nurses, and he's also the son of two immigrants from Vietnam. He says that working for the VA is his way of thanking those troops that helped his parents in Vietnam. Uh, military presence over there, you know, helped my parents basically get over here to the United States. Um, and then uh, with how America is, they raised me to be the way I am. And this is just my way of giving back to the vets since I, did, I don't serve in the military. So this is uh, my personal way of kind of just supporting our troops. Trevor makes sure that he takes all of the necessary precautions to decontaminate his belongings and himself before leaving the hospital. Um, we make sure that, you know, we bring an extra change of clothes. We have, we leave our work shoes here. So that way, you know, we don't have to take those home. We just bring our other shoes with us. Um, whenever we leave, we make sure we sanitize appropriately. We change into our, you know, our go home garb. Um, we take our scrubs that we use for the day. We put them into a personal belongings bag of some type. Trevor shared that none of this would be possible without the incredible work being done by the entire team. Uh, obviously, you know, we never know whenever we're going to get a surge of patients or anything like that. But working with this team here, just makes it all the better. According to officials at Ralph H. Johnson, they recently received their first positive case of COVID-19. They have since tested anyone that came into contact with the patient and all the results came back negative. Antonio Stinson, count on two.